While responding to a supplementary question originally asked by Kilome Member of Parliament Harun Mwau, who was asking the Minister of Finance if CBK in performance of its statutory duties legally required to investigate tax evasion or is it in any way mandated to obtain information on banks to analyze taxes. The finance minister said the Chatterhouse Bank was close to protect depositors when the bank faced negative publicity. Uh, the decision to close the bank was done by Central Bank. It was not done by the American government. And it is and to be opened again uh, by Central Bank, not by the American government. Several members of parliament, including Kiema Kilonzo, Fred Oute, and Bonnie Haluale, accused the minister of shedding crocodile tears in the name of protecting depositors while in the real sense singing to the tune of countries behind multinational banks in the country at the expense of locals. A chartered bank was closed. This is because of the influence of foreign powers. Why this bank opened the bank Kenyan depositors are suffering. He only came on the job the other day. When this thing was taking place, he was, he was not in the office. We give him time to look at the reports of the House, to read the court order. And as a speaker, we force him to come back here next week, to come and finally announce from the dispatch box, not from where you're seated, that Chatterhouse Bank has been reopened, Mr. Speaker. It took the intervention of Deputy Speaker Farah Ma'alim to bring the House to order and direct the Minister to come back to the House in a fortnight with a well-detailed statement on the steps he is taking in consultation with all relevant authorities to restore Chatterhouse Bank to its full operation. The Clerks Department will make sure that those copies of those relevant, dignified reports of this House are in the hands of the people who are supposed to make that decision. The chair directs that this question be listed on the order paper exactly two weeks from today. Chatterhouse Bank was closed on allegations of money laundering. Solomon Wery, GBS News.